Most songs are recorded using multiple tracks. Let's take a look at them and their functions. Alright, so once you have recorded your initial startup track and it's laid down and everything, you're ready to move on to add additional tracks. Now before you want to start recording on those additional tracks, uh, you want to set those up and customize those. So let's take a look at customizing these tracks. So we all know how to add a track with the add track button down here. And let's select a software instrument. Hit create. Okay, we have Grand Piano because that's the default. Um, let's say I don't want a Grand Piano. Let's say... Actually, you know what? Let, let's go with the Grand Piano. That's fine. But let's say... Um, let's say we have multiple pianos in the song. Or we know we're going to have multiple pianos. Um, one way to keep track and keep organized and customize your tracks is changing this icon at the left hand. So if you want to change that, there's ways to go back. There's a couple of different ways. As you know, you can hit the I button down here, info, and that opens up that window that was already open. There's that way, or you can slide up to the track itself and just double click on it. Either way, so it just depends on where you where your mouse is and what's closest and what's easiest. Alright, so once we have the info section open, let's go ahead and look at that. And here's the icon right here. So if we wanted to change this, all we have to do is click on that little down arrow and that opens up this plethora of icons. So we could technically change it to a different looking instrument um, if we wanted like some bongos or whatever. If we wanted it to be a trumpet, <laughs> even though that just wouldn't make sense. So for uh, <laughs> tutorial purposes, let's go ahead with some type of piano looking thing. And let's go with, which one do I like most? I like this synth looking one. Let's go with that one. So you can change the icon and that's pretty cool and it kind of keeps you organized to what it is. So um, let's say the software instrument is a synth-ish piano sound. You can choose from one of those and, and pick one that you like. Okay, so now for just the sake of changing things up, I'm going to change the actual software instrument to a different type of piano and I'm going to choose on electric piano and this window comes up every time you change something um, so if you do want to not see that anymore you can just click on do not ask me again and then you can continue but um, I have that on just so I can show you guys that that's what happens just in case uh, you're going through and that pops up and you're like what this wasn't in the video anyway so please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any requests, please send them to requests at mahalo.com.